right, let's just try it this way. Remember these dope ass wheels that I mistakenly got for my mountain bike? It wasn't true. That end up. He thought the video quality was bad before. Just wait till this one. I was gonna do the whole stand up thing. The room's too echoey. Not enough light. And just wasn't working. So I gave up immediately and threw you on my head. So back when the government was giving people a bunch of money. Oh, free water bottle? That? This company out of Austin makes great looking bikes. Um, I needed a gravel bike. And oh, two bottles. Wouldn't that be cool if there's three? Since it can hold three. So, this seemed to be the best one. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, so I'm already over this video. And, uh, I'll, 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 let me check in with you in a minute. All right, you did not miss much. Unboxing is all right. But, I mean, unwrapping. That's where it's at. It's like Christmas in here. I'll see if I can remember what the build was. Oh, that color. All right, so I went VRX. Easton, EA90, cranks. Oh, I better be careful. Waving this knife around like a chumba terlingua. I don't think. I think they went with masking tape, so it's really easy to uh, unwrap. Good on these guys, chumba. I'm thoroughly impressed already. If this bike is the worst fitting bike, you guys have done an amazing job. So check out these dropouts. I'll try to get in frame. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Like, you don't even know if I'm done with this video right now. I want to put this together. Alright, now that the angle is probably thoroughly wrong. So, what do you think? What should we put on first? Seat. Wheels. Still gotta get the thing unwrapped. Let's uh, let's move on over here. They told me it was a uh, eight to ten week lead time, so I thought that's like how long it'd be until my bike came. But that's how long it was until they started it, I guess. And now. They were in contact the whole time too. They've been totally awesome. So it looks like the bars are pretty secure in the fork. It's full rigid. I remember that. It's a carbon fork. This is a good time for the old Nathalini. Oh, there we go. Thompson stem. Like a hundred millimeter. So the the one flaw of Chumba, their head badges, not amazing, you know. Not, uh, it, it would be cool if something was there, but subtlety's nice too. So you saw the GRX brakes. It's full GRX. Look at those. Oh, they look so badass. Oh my god. All right. Continuing on. Okay, okay, settle down. Settle down. Oh, I thought I told him to leave it ungripped because I was probably gonna have to mess with the, the, the cockpit. 
That does all right. You know, if I didn't, <laughs> I don't really make videos, but if I never made videos, I'd be riding this thing right now. Like unstable work surfaces are great, but when things are serious, I should have a little bit of spinny park tool deals. Four meters. Remember that, folks. Four. So if the, if the stem covers up both sides, both vertical lines. So isn't that lovely? Alright, well, I guess it's back to it. Alright, let's get this fork showing. You did not want to see any of that. Anyway. All the tweaks have been taken care of as far as now. It's GRX 800, 11 speed, wolf tooth chain ring, sunrace cassette. Little wind noise here we can fix in post. Wanted to tell you about the Shimano 160mm Ice Tech rotors. It has a white industries bottom bracket with fancy silver. So, it turns out that this dropper cable needs to be that long to be able to get the dropper out. So that's a little unfortunate. I have about 20 miles on it now. It feels like a dream. I was happy to see the fork had two mounts on it. I had them add four mounts on the back for a rack. I stuck with alloy up top with these Thompson dirt drop bars. I'm guessing the 44 means 44 centimeters wide. They certainly feel wide. PNW Rainier dropper post. I had to use all 25 millimeters of adjustable travel. So it's not the ideal seat post, but it works, and it's a blast. Well, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And I'll leave you with a picture that Reddit made fun of me for. I didn't know. I hadn't written it yet. Here you go.